This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I got a Boss GT1 to kind of do some demos with. Because I was doing a video with another product that I thought was quite good for the money and I thought I can only really think of one other thing which is even cheaper, which I've not tried, the Boss GT1. Now I've been really, really pleasantly surprised by this. I bought this with my own money, but Boss have since asked me to create some tones for them. So there's a live set now of a bunch of these tones on the Tone Exchange. Now. Uh, what I wanted to do with this live set was just show off some of the really cool amps and the cool amp sounds in here. So I've used like a Fender Twin, I've used the Mesa Boogie, Matchless DC30, the Soldano is in there as well. Uh, the Natural Clean is an amp which is like not based on any real amp as far as I know, but sounds really, really cool. There's a great Marshall 1959 and I wasn't expecting necessarily there to be tones as cool sounding as this in there. Um, and basically I've set it up so this control switch basically gives you a, a gain boost for most of the tones but frankly for the money I think the Boss GT1 sounds pretty insane um, you can even use it with batteries so you just plug it in as it is like this comes on with batteries and that's pretty cool for a headphone kind of thing so I think a really really cool little unit loads and loads of effects in it uh, in terms of getting great sounds out of it. What I found worked quite nicely, trying either the original speaker or 4x10 sounds great too. So original or 4x10 I think sounds, especially for higher gain tones, 4x10 sounds great. I got that tip from someone in the comments. Once I got kind of one tone that I liked, what I kind of did was just use that as a template and then build from there. Not only that, the GT1 editor, that I think is a really decent little editor as well, um, so yeah, I'm super impressed with this and you know plugging it in and playing through it It doesn't seem to me like the tones are cheap even if the actual device itself kind of is But yeah, here's now a demo of some of these tones grab them from the boss tone exchange if you want to try them So I put together another kind of tone pack for GT1 So I just wanted to run you through some of the kind of really cool amps that I think are in here the first of all is the natural clean and this was the first kind of
put together two presets with this and one has a bit more gain. And on all these presets, the control switch will give you a bit less gain. Well, that's the idea at least, so like here. Kicks on. Delaying compressor. So natural clean, one to look for. The Vox is pretty cool too. Kick on control one, more gain. Then there's a really cool Marshall in here, 1959, is that that's a lead. Okay, then we got a really cool Matchless, one of my favourite amps that I've never tried in real life, but Matchless DC30, right? Kind of voxy, but a bit of a bigger. Okay, then we move on to the Mesa Boogie. Just really, really nice, and then. Then we got the Fender Twin. And kick on a little bit more gain. Thank you. 
So, uh, a really cool starting point, I think, if you're looking for some pretty cool natural tone. In general, I think what I've ended up doing for this kind of stuff is using the same cab and kind of just EQing a little bit the top end out so you don't get too much spiky stuff. And then you end up with this lovely feeling kind of smooth, chewy tone. You grab that all on the um, tone exchange if you want. <laughs> 